Previously on Power Reviews. You're about to walk directly into the heart of Alphabet Soup. No legal record whatsoever that anyone named Database Ranger has ever existed. You know, I always imagined that if a girl was to scream and run away from me, it would be because I kissed her out of the blue, not vice versa. Database, I think you need to see this. Is that me? It would appear so. What on earth? You have to let me run tests. I wear funny hat, do normal stuff, and computer does computer things with the funny hat to tell us stuff. We still have to get to work reconstructing your damaged neural pathways, and it's not going to be easy. And now, Database Rangers Power Review. Greetings, Ranger fans. Salutations. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Power, Power Reviews. reviews. Okay. Okay, where are you? I'm right here, DB. What? I, I... I don't understand. The laser optic lineation cerebral array transceiver. Lol, cat! Utilizes advanced imaging matrices. Fancy moving pictures. To map baseline brainwave patterns. Look inside that head of yours! And reconstruct the damaged neural pathways. Fix all the broken little pieces. Well, that helped clear things up a bit. Wait, what do I do now? Remember. 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 This is seeing. Okay. Remember. I need to remember. But remember what? What about my What about cats? who my am name? I? Why did she How did we who meet? Am what do they want what do from I me? Who want from am me? What? Where did I, I come from? Am I? Clear your mind. Drift back. Think of things you would rather forget. I... Okay! I wish I was that brave. I can't leave her. Think of something you've tried to forget. <laughs> well, that's a good arm. Think of the one thing you've tried to forget most. Oh, no. Remember that and find what you've been holding back. Do I have to? All right, remember, that's all I need to do. I just need to remember the Power Rangers Super Samurai Halloween Special Trickster Treat. We jump right into things with Octoru and Master Zandrid on the Sanzu River. Okay. While Zandrid is upset over it once again being Halloween, his calamari face cohort is happy to report that they have a brand new monster on the job. Trickster, yeah! What is that? Don't you know your Japanese legends? Trickster is based on the Tonome, a mythical Japanese creature presented in the Gazu Hayaki Yako, or the Illustrated Night Parade of a Hundred Demons. I think it might be a children's story. It also appears in the story of the man who had his bones sucked out by a monster. I think it might be a children's story. Other than that, all we know is that it's super freaky looking and it gave Guillermo del Toro an idea for a monster for a labyrinth del fono. Pants labyrinth? Flu. Well, that was informative. Turns out the monster has already invaded the rangers' minds and trapped them in a nightmare. From his primo seat in a trans-dimensional movie theater, Trickster watches as Moogers invade a trick-or-treating furry convention. We love Muppet shows! The rangers themselves are unveiled by the Kuroko. Which only exist in the Sentai, by the way. Fresh from a fictional costume party, and each dressed up as their own personal animal spirit. <gasps> nope. They battle the Moogers using their new animalistic fighting styles, with Kevin leading the group from behind due to his super winning costume. Isn't Dream Logic fun? But before long, they start to realize that the details of their situation don't quite add up, and notice a weird whooshing sound in the background. So to keep them all in the dark, Trickster tosses them out into the limelight. Here they are! That slim is Samurai Band you've been waiting for! Mia and the Samurai Dance Machine! Does anyone 
anyone know why we're dancing? Just relax and shake it. How can I relax? I can't stop. Fantastico! I don't normally dance like this. So with that little musical interlude over, the Rangers are blasted right through into the season finale. Seriously, they just pulled a scene from the end of the season. Who does that? Apparently, even the monster gets bored with the recycled footage. Those fancy flips back and forth give me an idea. What's this? This is stupid. And take this! And take this! And take this! That's not funny. Soon enough, the rangers start to catch on to that whooshing sound again, so Trickster decides it's time to finally face them himself. But no rush. The rangers have plenty of time to change their clothes twice before kicking off the longest morph sequence of all time. Seriously, prepare yourself. This sequence takes a whopping 1 minute and 53 seconds from beginning to end. I could physically change my clothes faster than that. But I won't. Wow, I know it's Halloween, but that was the longest costume change I've ever seen. And no, being aware of how you're wasting our time doesn't actually make things any better. Time is all slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. So after wrapping up what I believe makes their fourth Mooger battle, the Samurai Rangers finally take on Trickster. They slice his dream beam apart with their spin swords and bust out the multi-disc octocannon blast, only for him to come right back as a mega monster. Apparently this is still a surprise to them. Cue up another extended transformation sequence as the Rangers all activate their mega modes and summon the folding zords. Wait. When did Antonio trade in his fish cooler for a sushi cart? They form the Octospear Megazord, but it suddenly seems... insufficient somehow. Oh my! Looks like you got a big problem on your hands! The giant, giant trickster quickly starts batting the Megazord around, making a joke out of its comparatively diminutive stature. It's no joke! No, this is no joke. Fortunately, he drops them off by a nearby windmill, which the rangers recognize as the source of the mysterious whooshing sounds. Deciding that it must be somehow linked to the dream world, they slice it apart and blast themselves right out of the battle with Trickster and into a different battle with Trickster. But if they're awake now, why aren't they in their pajamas? Good point. They defeat Trickster again, this time with their spin swords, only for him once again to turn into a mega monster. Apparently, this is still a surprise to them. You think this is all real, but you're all still trapped in a dream! <gasps> Spoilers! The Rangers use the black box this time to summon the Claw Armor Megazord, using a giant magic calligraphy brush from nowhere to block the monster's dream beam. Well, that was random. It's all pointless, of course, since Trickster is still watching the whole thing from the safety of his trans-dimensional movie theater, and there's no way they can possibly... Let's stop this movie! How did you figure it out? We'll never know. But it's a happy ending. Samurai Rangers, Halloween is ours. <laughs>
But if they were in a dream within a dream, then that means the Megazord was only a dream. And if they're still in the Megazord, even after Trickster is gone, does that mean that they're still in the dream? Or the dream within the dream? And if they're trapped and that they can't get out, can't get out, can't get out, can't get out, you know what? Never mind. All that matters is that the Power Rangers are happy and the Nylock are angry. Happy Halloween. And that's the end of our episode. So, what did I think of it? Well... This is terrible. In all seriousness, this is probably one of our strongest and most recent contenders for worst episode of all time. At the very least, it is one of the laziest presentations of PR ever committed to television. Not only is there absolutely no new footage, except for maybe that one second crowd shot, but the story is basically non-existent. A premise is not a story. The dream world is so loosely defined and ambiguously layered that not only are we not sure how they were captured to begin with, but we have no idea how they managed to devise their escape. Or if they escaped. Some shots drag on forever. Morph, 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 morph. While the final resolution is confusingly abrupt. Bye, Trickster! Ruining any real sense of build-up or climax. Was there one? Oh, come on. There must have been something you liked about it. Well, this is insane. During the times when it's not dragging, the sheer surreal absurdity of it all is so bizarre that you end up being stupefied into entertainment. Adventure time! Arguably, this is the closest PR has ever come to Dadaist anti-art. Look it up. A fascinating assault on rationality, if you will. Well, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. The energy of the vocal performances... The only performances... Do help inject a sense of fun, though. And the visuals... So many shiny colors! Are definitely impressive at times. Big little dance dance. Just so long as you don't try... Do not try... To make sense of it. So... yeah. Overall, Trickster Treat is an unusual, silly, stupid, sloppy example of what happens when a production team has to throw something together at the last minute. Rush, rush, hurry, hurry. Epitomizing all of the popularly held negative opinions of the show. Cheesy, cheap, kitty camp. While simultaneously reveling in them. Huh, that wasn't so bad. So, what do I do now? I've got a secret. That seems like a good place to start. What is it? Can't tell you. Can't tell you. Can't tell you! Tell me what? One, two, red and blue. Shh! It's a secret. Please! <laughs> Look, Look at, at the, the little, little puppet. puppet! Who am I? I know. What was that? It's coming down the hall. What is? The dark the darkness. darkness. The men in black shall herald its coming. You, you can't, can't stop it. it. No. This won't be the first world it's taken. What? Destruction is the beginning. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Wait. No. No, it can't be. Kay? Kay, wake me up. Wake me up!